Today, I would like to take a moment to talk about Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn coming this Friday to a theater near you. The views and opinions of this one animated jester are not sanctioned by DC Comics, nor necessarily those belonging to all these collectibles, its owners, and associates. Your results may vary. Please consult a doctor and refrain from using any heavy machinery after this animation. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to broadcast my appreciation for one Margot Robbie. When I had first seen her on the screen in that one Scorsese flick, I was almost certain that was the direction her career was going to take. But she actually seems to be quite comfortable in the realm of comic book-based films, having recently mentioned that she would like to be the producer of a reboot of Jamie Hewlett's Tank Girl. No surprise there, as Tank Girl takes place in a post-apocalyptic Australia, and Margot happens to be an Australian actress. <laughs> but I digress. This is no kangaroo comic court here. What is more impressive to me about Margot Robbie is she may well be the last remnant of the previously attempted DC Cinematic Universe. Superman is still in flux, and Robert Pattinson will soon be stepping into the old bat pajamas. But Harley Quinn? We still have the same Harley Quinn. And that's a good thing, folks. One might construe the fact that there's a scene in this film where Harley Quinn blows up the hideout of her ex-boyfriend, the Joker, once played very unpopularly by one Jared Leto, that she is not only liberating herself from the tyranny of her former boyfriend, but she is also liberating herself from all of the mistakes made in all of those previous films. Many comic book fans have generously pointed out that this is, in fact, the first time the long-running comic series Birds of Prey has reached the silver screen, and Harley Quinn has been an odd choice to become the protagonist of this film. An avid comic reader like yours truly knows that Harley has always played a role in the comics, even if she hasn't been an official member of the team. In fact, the only truly concrete members of the Birds of Prey have been superheroines Black Canary and Huntress, both of whom appear in this film, and Barbara Gordon, either as Oracle or Batgirl, which is most likely going to be a film somewhere down the line. At any rate, once this film comes out, there'll be sure to be tons of Harley slash Birds of Prey comics to follow, available at your local Seas Comics. <laughs> That is all that I can say in good taste for now. I'll have some more to mention when I do an official review of the movie upon its release. In the meantime, if you'd like to see some of the comics that make up the history of the clown princess of crime, that would be Harley Quinn, feel free to stop by All Seas Collectibles and let our experienced comic book wranglers help you to fall in love. Until next time, Internet Couch Potatoes, this is Hecklaw, the Old Seas Collectibles Jester, signing off. <laughs>